Good evening. Today I'm joined by Top 5 Countdowns, and we are going to count down a list of 5 creepy asylums. This video will be an introduction to my recent trip, where I spent the night in an abandoned hospital. I also want to introduce Top 5 Countdowns to you. He is a growing channel that I think is definitely worth your time to check out. So please, after watching this video, head over to his channel to listen to his videos and subscribe. For now, enjoy this list of creepy hospitals and asylums. Number 5. The Royal Hope Hospital, Florida, USA. Its origins state that the hospital was built in 1784 for the intention to house wounded Spanish military officers, but was soon closed down in 1821 before eventually being demolished. Whilst a replica was later rebuilt, the real scare came from the city workers who were instructed to repair some water lines and dug into the area of the old hospital only to discover that it had been built on what appeared to be an old Native American burial ground. Ever since having this discovery, many reports of ghostly activity has been reported. Number 4. The Ararat Lunatic Asylum in Victoria, Australia in the 1860s, in Victoria, Australia, there were concerns about the high number of the mentally ill, which were of course referred to as lunatics at the time. Their number was so great that a total of three asylums were built in which to accommodate them. In addition to the Ararat Lunatic Asylum, the Q Lunatic Asylum, and Beechworth Lunatic Asylum were commissioned. Some distinctive features of Ararat were what were referred to as haha -ha walls. These walls were built in trenches to make the walls seem tall from the inside, but short on the outside. From the inside, these walls looked unscalable and unpenetrable to its patients while on the outside, it masked the dangers of the people within. These walls also contained over 60 buildings that make up one of the largest abandoned asylums in the world. This asylum was known for its very controversial experiments performed on patients. Bleeding and full frontal lobe lobotomies were routinely carried out. The Ararat Asylum stayed open for close to 130 years and was said to house some of the most dangerous mental patients in Australia. In this time period, over 13,000 patients died within its walls, which equals roughly 100 a year during its lifespan. It is believed that some of these patients and their staff never left. People who have explored the asylum have reported strange and unexplained pains felt in their bodies as they have walked around the surgery ward, which was used for older patients. Number 3. Severals Hospital, Colchester, England. There is always something unsettling about a psychiatric hospital. But this hospital, in particular, thrives off acts of pain. Forceful childbirths, full frontal lobotomies, and electroshock therapy were just some of the occurrences that, in the long term, led to the building being closed down. Ever since 1997, frequent acts of vandalism take place upon the grounds, as well as ghost hunting investigations that provide very chilling evidence. Number 2 Waverly Hills Sanatorium in Louisville, Kentucky. Waverly Hills Sanatorium was originally opened in 1910, and it was mainly a tuberculosis hospital. 
It was set up originally to take care of approximately 40 to 50 patients at a time. The severity of tuberculosis made it seem necessary to people at the time to isolate patients away from the community. However, it quickly became apparent that the small hospital couldn't house all the patients in the area, so Waverly Hills was expanded. It was turned into a huge Gothic-style hospital that still stands today. One of the things that makes Waverly so creepy is that being sent there was in basis a life sentence. And not just for patients. Doctors, nurses, and caretakers, anyone who went to Waverly were basically confined there for life. It had its own zip code, its own post office, and its own food production. Waverly also has many macabre stories about what happened within its walls. Although some records dispute these claims, during the height of the tuberculosis epidemic, it is claimed that patients were dying at the rate of a patient an hour. These dead patients were stacked in a room on the first floor, which occasionally got full of dead bodies. They were then routinely carried down a 500-foot chute known today as the Death Tunnel, where they were then removed by train. Other stories involve an infamous room numbered 502. Although it's difficult to separate fact with urban legends, there is a tale that a nurse who was thought to be pregnant by a doctor discovered she had tuberculosis. She was found hanged on the fifth floor, directly between the doors of the elevator and room 502. Her body was discovered when a resident was going up to the fifth floor in the elevator, and as the doors opened, he saw her hanging. Some claimed it was a suicide, while others claimed she was murdered following a forced abortion. Her aborted fetus was found later. Today, Waverly is open to the public for paranormal investigation. Explorers are led into this 180,000 square foot gothic structure and allowed to roam free in the dark. Even if you don't believe in ghosts, the experience is very fascinating and I'm looking forward to elaborating on it in my upcoming video. Number 1. Taunton State Hospital, Massachusetts, USA This hospital, unlike the rest, is popular for its asylum-like patients and staff. An example of this was Jane Toppen, a serial killer who confessed to having murdered at least 31 people whilst working as a nurse. Both doctors and nurses alike took great pleasure in beating and torturing the people they claimed to help with even deeper rumours explaining that patients were frequently taken into basements for disclosed reasons. The Taunton State Hospital is still standing today and is claimed to be haunted by a shadow man who crawls along the length of the walls and watches the patients. Hey y'all, Killer Orange Cat here. I'd like to thank Top 5 Countdowns for working with me on this video. After listening here, please go to his channel in the links provided and subscribe. It was a pleasure working with him, and I think he has the voice and the talent, and I'd love to see his channel succeed and grow. In addition to exposing you to the type of content you'll find on Top 5 Countdowns, this video was meant to be an introduction to my trip to Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which occurred on May 28th. I've already taken the trip, gotten many interesting videos and pictures, and a few stories that I will share in an upcoming video. Those who know me well and have followed me closely know I am very skeptical about the paranormal. It's one of the reasons I have been hesitant to put a lot of paranormal content on this channel. I am a scientist, and for the paranormal to exist, I have to be able to believe it can be observed empirically, and I happen to be a huge doubter of 
pseudoscientific methods such as speech boxes. But even with all of that science that I believe in, I am also a spiritual person. I spent over a year studying with an American Indian medicine man and have seen some things I think science in its current state would have a hard time explaining. Because of that, despite my skew towards skepticism, I do try to keep an open mind that we don't quite understand everything about the world yet. That video should be coming out pretty soon. But in the meantime, please subscribe to Top 5 Countdowns, and let's watch him become a successful YouTube channel. And remember to check in your closet and check under your bed. Because you never know where a killer orange cat might be hiding. Good night.